So, a Nest thermostat. I'm running this with a steam heat in my house. And I want to show you quick how this thing looks like in the internet. Um, there's a web address you go to. Let me drag this in here. And my browser logs in on its own. Now I want to show you how this works over the internet to access your, your Nest. Um, and let's see here on the right side, I'm going to show you how this works like from your phone at the same time. So you go either from the phone or from your laptop or your computer at work. And <coughs> so everything has to have internet access. The Nest has to have a wireless internet access in your house or elsewhere. So it has to have wireless internet talking to it. And then from outside, you can go in there and uh, play around in it. <coughs> so we see here my home with the steam heat. And here, there, we see this nest thermostat in the hallway. Um, um, on the phone, basically, we have the same thing. If we tap or click, in this case, on the... little thermostat here, we see the detail information of this thermostat. We see here the outside temperature and the inside humidity. On uh, the app, you see the inside humidity. Um, we see the inside temperature up here, 72 right now, but the thermostat is set to 70. Okay. <coughs> we can go on both and look at the schedule of this whole thing. Uh, on the phone, we have to turn it around to see the the detail here. Here on the network, we see this. Um, that's schedule, right? You can add and remove stuff. So if you, for example, want to add something, then we have here a new slider. You put it on where you need it, let's say 1.30 on Thursday, and then you set the temperature to whatever you need. Let's say you need 75 on that day, it will be there. Now this will be the same in the uh, thing here so you tap and hold and you say add here and then you just then we have a history information in there so when did you turn this thing on and off also happens on the phone you have those little clouds here then you see a message that you need it less heat because the outside temperature weather was warm on the phone this works like this and then if you click on one of them you have a detailed information when what happened here you see all this and then you can hold your uh, mouse over this thing and then you can see down here uh, who did this if it was scheduled or if you, you did play with it or what user and from the internet did this, who changed the temperature. Right? And the same here on the phone basically. And you can turn the heat on and off or to eco mode where it has a lower temperature. You can do this from here. And the same uh, we have um, on our app, right? You can turn it on and off there. If the heat comes on, this whole thing turns orange, then you know it's running. And if it's gray like this, then you know it's not running. So there is not much to, to show there. Um, I can turn this on here if I, to show quick. If I set it to 75 from here, it will run and now it's running the same on the on the app okay if you turn it back off it goes off so there not on anymore right so that's how this whole thing works here and if you're done with it you just close your browser and you're good